and I'm a lab technician in the live materials lab. I'm going to talk to you today about your set of 30 painted lady butterfly larvae. When you receive your butterfly larvae, they'll arrive in a cup like this with food on all the inside. We overpack each order of 30 larvae to ensure that you receive at least 30. But you can receive between 30 and 80 larvae. Your larvae might appear dead when they arrive. This can be normal. When larvae are molting, they might not move for a few days. You should allow a couple days to observe them and see if they're molting before assuming that they're dead. After a day or two, you can check and see if they've moved or if there's any food that has been eaten. When you're ready to transfer the larvae into the cups, you'll need to mix the food that we've sent with the kit. You can cut open the bag and pour the dry food into a bowl. Then add one and one quarter cups of water. Mix the food until it becomes the consistency of cookie dough. When you're done mixing the food, you want to push a teaspoon of the food into each of the individual cups. Push it in at an angle so that the waste all falls to the bottom and doesn't lay on the food. You should wear gloves while you do this to decrease the chance of contamination. It's looking pretty good. So we push it in at an angle. You'll also want to poke a couple holes into each of the lids so that the larvae have air. You can use a push pin to do this. Once you've put food in each of the cups, you're ready to transfer the larvae. The larvae should be at least one centimeter in length before you transfer them. If they're smaller than one centimeter, you run the risk of injuring them. You should only transfer them with the paintbrush provided. Your fingers can damage them as well. Transfer one larvae into each of the cups. And then place the lid on. If you find that you have more larvae than you have cups and food, you can purchase more cups and food from us to raise up the extra larvae. You can also release the extra larvae outside onto a bush or a plant. Painted lady butterflies are particularly fond of plants from the Malvaceae and Capositae families. So if you have a Malva bush nearby, that's a good place to release them. Once you've put all the larvae into the cups, it'll take about two weeks before they form chrysalids. They'll move to the top of the cup and attach to the plastic lid. When all the chrysalids have formed, wait about 24 hours before putting them into the cage. You want to give them this time to ensure that the chrysalids have time to harden. When you've given the chrysalids 24 hours, you can then put them inside your cage. You'll want to remove the lid from the top of the cup and tape it to the inside of your cage. The top of the cage is a good place to tape it since it's plastic. After you've done that, it'll be another week before the chrysalids emerge as butterflies. As they emerge, they may produce a red liquid. This is called meconium, and it's a normal waste byproduct of the transformation process. After all your butterflies have emerged, you can provide a food source for them by making a sugar water mixture. To make this mixture, you can mix five tablespoons of sugar with one cup of water. You can then put this solution on some cotton balls in a shallow plastic dish and put it in the bottom of your cage. You'll want to replace the sugar water every few days. 
If you have any further questions about butterfly care, you can refer to your Live Materials Care Guide or call our Live Materials Lab. We hope you enjoy raising butterflies and thanks.